Hi guys, so nagbabalik na naman ng mahiwagang kamay ni Sir Yuli ano, upang magbahagi ng panibagong karaman ngayong araw na ito. At ang ating ang tatalakayin ay tungkol sa stocks will define terms that will be used in uh, problem solving regarding stocks. No? So before that mga kaibigan, kung hindi pa subscriber ng ating channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga uploaded videos. Please uh, do share sa mga klase mo, sa mga kaibigan mo, o sa teacher mo para makatulong din tayo sa kanila na malay mo kailangan nila ng tulong natin kaibigan. Also, uh, please again, uh, don't skip the ads. No? Malaking tulong to para sa mga creators na tulad ko. Uh, saglit lang naman ito mga kaibigan. Please let it end and then continue dun sa ating tutorial. Okay? So let's go mga kaibigan! So, let's start with the definition of terms, mga kaibigan. Ano? So, first uh, term we have is the stocks. No? Obviously, kasi nga, our topic for today is all about stocks. No? So, to sabi dyan, stocks is the share in the ownership of a company. So, yung share mo nga naman doon sa uh, ownership ng company. Kung baga, ikaw ay tinatawag nating stockholders or shareholders. Kung uh, ikaw ay uh, bumili ng stock or ng stocks doon sa company na yun. Isa kang shareholder or kaya naman ay stockholder. Okay? Then, uh, the next term we have is the dividend. So, bakit ba natin dinidefine yung mga terms na to? Kasi gagamitin natin to sa mga pro sa problem solving na meron tayo ngayong araw. Okay? So, dividend, this is the share in the company's profit. So, ito ngayon yung uh, kita mo. Kung bagay, dividend do or dividend, ito yung kita mo. Depende doon sa kita ng company. Okay? So, that is the dividend. The third one is the dividend per share. This is the ratio of the dividends to the number of shares. So, yun lang naman. Ibig sabihin lang naman kasi ng ratio, the, the fraction, no? Between uh, dividends and the shares. Kung baga, di-divide mo lang yung dividends doon sa number of shares. Okay? So, that is the dividend per share. Obvious naman doon sa kanyang uh, pangalan na na. Then, uh, the fourth term we have is the stock market. This is a place where stocks can be bought or sold. So, yun lang, ano? Kung baga, dito ka bibili ng stocks, no? Stock market. The stock market in the Philippines is governed by the PSE, or Philippine Stock Exchange. Next term is the market value. The current price of a stock at which it can be sold. So, yung market value, eto ngayon yung presyo ng stock or stocks na pwede mong bilhin doon sa company no? that is the current price of a stock again stock market dito ka bibili ng uh, stocks market value ito yung presyo ng stocks next is the stock yield ratio the ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share also called the current stock yield so yun lang ano you know, divide mo lang ulit yung annual dividend per share tsaka yung market value that is the stock Yield ratio. Gagamitin natin yung mga formula na yan later. No? Last one we have is the par value. The per share amount as stated on the company certificate. Unlike market value, it is determined by the company and remains stable over time. So, uh, para daw itong market value. Pero ang pagkakaiba lang, yung par value, ang nag-a-assign na to, yung mismong company. No? Depende kasi sa company kung uh, magkano yung gusto nilang presyo ng stocks nila. And uh, sabi nga dyan, it remains stable over time. So, kasi nga, depende yun dun sa company. Okay, so parang yun lang din yung market value. Ito yung presyo nung stocks, no? Nung company na yun. Okay, so again, market value uh, is the current price of stock at which it can be sold. Yung par value naman, ito yung uh, presyo ng stock depende dun sa company, no? Okay, so yun yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. So those are the terms in stocks. Let us have our first uh, problem solving in uh, stocks. No? Example number one. Sabi dyan, a certain financial institution declared a 30 million pesos dividend for the common stocks. If there are total of 700,000 shares of common stock, how much is the dividend per share? So, Dito sa number 1 mga kaibigan, ang hinahanap lang yung dividend per share. So, gamit na lang tayo uh, 
gamitin ko DPS ano para shortcut na lang kasi masyadong mahaba kung dividend per share DPS na no? dividend per share okay so ano ba yung sabi sa definition ng dividend per share this is uh, the ratio between the dividend and then the number of shares so ibig sabihin lamang di-divide lang natin yung dividend ano? so dividend divide by the number of shares number of shares and on our problem mga kaibigan obvious naman ano yung given sa ating problem uh, the dividend is 30 million pesos no so ito ay 30 million tapos yung number of shares yung total shares is 700,000 okay so ikakalkyu lang natin ano so again uh, malaking bagay yung may calcu tayo kunin ko lang calcu ko no kasi kung wala kang calcu so solve mo yan na uh, manually eh malaki masyad, masyadong malaki yan so calcu na lang natin ano 30 million 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 700, 1, 2, 3. So, the dividend per share is 42.86. So, yung ating dividend per share is 42 pesos and 86 centavos. So, that is for example number 1. Ganun lang kadali mga kaibigan kasi nga, Uh, yung dividend per share, di-divide mo lang naman yung dividend sa number of shares. So, burayin lang natin ito. Madali lang yan. Doon tayo sa example number 2. Sabi dyan, a certain corporation declared a 3% dividend on a stock with a par value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lingan owns 200 shares of stock with a par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? So, dito naman sa example number 2, ang tinatanong ay yung dividend, no? Or yung kita ni Mrs. Lingan. So, ano ba yung given dyan? The 3% dividend on a stock, no? With a par value of 500 pesos. So, meaning, doon sa 500 pesos na stock na par value, I mean, sa 500 pesos na par value, makakakuha ka ng 3% dividend. So, para makuha mo yung dividend mo, you will just multiply the, or you will get the 3% of the 500 pesos. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, si Mrs. Lingan daw ay mayroong 200 shares. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha ni Mrs. Lingan, yung total dividend niya, kailangan niyang i-multiply yung shares niya doon sa dividend. So again, para makuha ni Mrs. Lingan yung total dividend niya. So dividend ano? Yung dividend ng par value is 3% ng 500. So ano ba yung 3% in decimal? That is 0.03 multiply by 500 pesos yung par value. Kasi nga, sabi dyan, yung dividend daw is 3% ng par value. So, 0.03 multiply by 500. Multiply by the number of shares. No? So, multiply by 200. That is equal to, ganun lang, ano? So, 0.03 multiply by 500 multiply by 200, which is 3,000 pesos. Yan. So, the dividend Mrs. Lingan received is or will be 3,000 pesos. Sabi dyan in example number 3, Corporation A with a current market value of 52 pesos gave a dividend of 8 pesos per share for its common stock. Corporation B with a current market value of 95 pesos gave a dividend of 12 pesos per share. Use the stock yield ratio to measure how much dividends shareholders are getting in relation to the amount invested. So, malino naman dito na sa instruction na magagamit natin yung formula ng stock yield ratio para ma-measure natin yung dividend na magkukuha ng shareholder. So ibig sabihin, 
Kung alin yung mas mataas na stock yield ratio, yun ang mas maganda. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Yun ang mas maganda. Kasi nga, uh, doon nakadepende yung dividend mo. No? Doon sa stock yield ratio. So, tingnan natin ano. Corporation A. Ito yung Corporation A. Then, Corporation B. Asag ko nga. Wait lang. Asag ko lang. So, yung stock yield ratio, gamitin ko na lang is stock yield ratio. SYR, ano? Stock yield ratio. So, dito yung Corporation A. Then, Corporation B. Ito yung formula. Anong sabi? Anong definition ng, ng stock yield ratio? Sabi dyan, that is the ratio between the dividend per share and the market value. So, given naman yun, dun sa ating uh, problem, ano? Given naman yung dividend per share and then the market value or the price of the stock. So, for the company A, magkano daw yung, ano, dividend per share niya? 8. So, 8 daw yung dividend per share ng um, corporation A. Magkano yung market value niya? 52 pesos. So, 8 divided by 52 that is equal to, dito ko na lang lagay, no? 0 0.15 38 So, tingnan natin, ano? 8 divided by 52 That is 0 0.15 38 Or in uh, percentage form That is 15.38% Whereas, doon naman sa Corporation B Magkano yung uh, dividend per share? 12 pesos So, 12 pesos Divide by the uh, market value which is 95 pesos. So, divide lang natin, ano? 12 divided by 95, we have 0 0.1263 or in percentage, 12.63%. So, obviously, uh, the stock yield ratio in Corporation A is greater than the stock yield ratio in Corporation B. Therefore, uh, dito ako kukuha, ano? Dito ako kukuha ng stock. Dito ako bibili ng stock sa Corporation A. Kasi nga, mas mataas yung kanyang stock yield ratio. Meaning, mas mataas yung makukuha mong dividend. Alright? So, that's it for stocks, no, mga kaibigan. We have solved three problems uh, regarding stocks. We define terms in stocks. Yun lang. Hopefully, nakatulong tayo sa lesson natin ngayong araw, ano, mga kaibigan. Again, if you're not busy, please follow the page Isimat TV na malaking tulong ito ka mga kaibigan sa akin. And also, maraming salamat sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta mga kaibigan. We are now in uh, 20,000 subscribers. Na maraming salamat sa pag-follow mga kaibigan. Maraming salamat sa pag-share, sa pag-subscribe ninyo, sa pag-subscribe, sa pag-subscribe niyo mga kaibigan. Ano? Salamat, salamat, salamat. God bless and mabuhay kayo.